hi guys welcome back to my channel so today it is my update for hashtag that's expensive project pan and this is a fantastic ladies collab and it is a year-long project and you just pick eight to ten of your expensive products that you want to use up rather than just being sat going off in your collection so it's a really good idea just to start using things that you want don't save them for best and get the most out of them whilst they still have got lots of life left in them because believe you me you think you can get through some products until you start trying to actually pan them you do not realize how long these things last <laughs> they can last forever now i look an absolute stay i've had my grandson for the last two days he stayed last night um right a family baptism yesterday and my son um and his wife were were working so yeah i've had my grandson so um yeah it's been crazy he's been jumping up and down on me i've not bothered brushing my hair or putting any makeup on for my video you've just got me like this or i won't get it filmed but it doesn't matter um i usually film in pajamas and all sorts so i don't think you care do you if you watch my channel you know what it's like so i hope you're all okay um i'm doing a few project pans i'm actually wanting to start one other which i might try and film maybe next week i'm back at work i've got tomorrow off but i've got the hairdressers um and um, then I'm back at work from Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then I'm working Saturday, which I don't normally do. And then I've got just um, a week off annual leave, plus my few days off that I normally have each week. So I'll have plenty of time. I've got loads of filming to do, loads of catching up to do. And I think I'm going to have to start doing a bit of like evening filming, I think, rather than watching telly with my husband. I can pop in here for half an hour and just do some updates because I'm hardly doing any updates on my channel and it's just not good. So let's go on this one is not so bad i think i've only got eight prod products in this project so it shouldn't take too long to film i wanted to come on now it's just gone home my husband's working until seven i think so i've got a couple of hours a little bit of grace just to get this done and, and get it uploaded for you so um i've got my empties coming as well in a couple of days and then a few boxes will be starting again won't we so let's have a little look um i've got my instagram open over here on my computer so i can have a little look i've got the products I started off with, the prices and things like that, so we could just remind ourselves about it. I have also got weights on there. I haven't pre-weighed these things yet, so I will um, I maybe just do a little box here with the weights from last month to this month so you can see the difference. And um, just so I can try and keep it flowing and keep it, you know, without being too distracted doing other things. So let's just get on. So the first thing on the list was a Dr. Brandt pore purifying cleanser, which is this. is very snazzy. Um, Dr. Brandt's a nice skincare brand, isn't it? And the price of this was £29. Um, I'm not sure if it actually is my most expensive cleanser, but it is an expensive cleanser. So for me, I'd rather use something like this than something that costs £5. So might as well get this used up and enjoy it. And um, yeah, I have enjoyed using it as well. I've used it as my second cleanse um, and sometimes as a morning cleanser as well. It it foams up nicely. It rinses off really nicely. It's a gel and it's got a really pleasant fragrance. It's got salicylic acid in it, tea tree oil and white willow bark. I have really, really enjoyed it. It's been nice. Um, so there's 105 mils in here when you first get it when it's new and it was new i'm pretty sure when i started the project and so this was like i sort of managed to get the line down to when i first started it and this is where we are now i felt like it should be lower than that but i can't get any more air out without the product coming out so that's kind of where we're down to um so yeah i don't think that's too bad and i think i should definitely be finished that in another two or three months especially as we get down here it gets narrower so yeah we should although narrower but wider um wider base if that makes sense but yeah another two or three months it's not going to be a problem finishing this this month so yeah i'm pleased i'm doing all right with that and i'm using it fairly regularly so it's not so bad next product we've got is the sunday riley and this is worth £70 and it is the A plus high dose retinoid serum. I haven't used this yet um, purely because I've got a retinol that I'm using at the minute from the Inky list. So I've gone from something really affordable then I'll go to this. So it'll be interesting to see if I notice a difference. Um, 
in the performance considering such a big price difference so i'm looking forward to starting this i haven't used it yet but yeah that's there um i spoke about that last time i have got i've been really good on my instagram when they uploaded this as well i'm really pleased i did it with all my project pans and i've sort of listed everything and taken photos of everything um so I'm really happy I've done that and I'll be able to continue that on then each month. And it's good for me now as a reference. I can remember what I've got in each project pan rather than thinking, which one does this belong to? So thank goodness I was organised. <laughs> so yeah, I've not used that yet, but probably um, I, can, I think I might start using it in February. You know, I do think so. I think my other one's maybe nearly finished. So maybe another couple of weeks. So yeah, if it's not finished, if I haven't started using this in February, it's going to be very early March and then it's going to leave me plenty of time to get that used up for the rest of the year. And um, the next product we've got is something ridiculously expensive and it is the Probiotic by Doctors Formula Radiance Serum. Again, I've had a lot of skincare on the go. So I have lots and lots of skincare in my, in my project pans which is, oh, I don't know, I, I think I'm a bit scared of makeup about completing it where I know that I can finish serums and things like that in a year. But I've still got all the things I was actually using. So quite a lot of the skincare things I've got in my projects, I've not been able to start because I want to finish off the other things. But I've literally just about finished so much skincare, which will be in my empties, I think. Um, so I, this is about ready to use i have tried it a couple of times just to see what it was like the price of this is 95 pounds for a 30 mil tube which is just crazy yeah i've just used it a couple of times just to try it um it was new when i started so yeah i've taken it out of the box um just so i can i've got things that i'm trying to surround myself with them at my my vanity my desk um so that when i'm getting ready in the morning everything's there in my eyesight in my eye line so i can see it i'll use it um so yeah so i've not used that yet well once or twice um much more progress is needed uh the next thing we have got is from rodial and it is a can you tell i'm just dropping something here it's a soft focus glow drops it's an illuminating glow primer now i have got another glow primer which i didn't even realize in a project pan as well so what i maybe do is i think when i get to i think maybe every quarter i might have a look at my project pans if i'm feeling overwhelmed with a particular sort of type of category i might do a refresh i think i'm going to just like give myself a bit of a break because if I'm not going to be using something because it's so similar to something else I want to be able to pull something else in, in instead that I could use and then you know in place of it and actually just get some use out of it rather than two things in there doing the same but only using one so does that make sense so I think I've just used this once just to try it um and it is just a really glowy primer the price of this is 50 pounds and then yeah i've just used it once or twice maybe once and um, just to sort of see what it was like this might be one that i mix in with my foundation maybe as well just to give a bit of extra glow but it seems really nice it's got like a nice pinky pearlescent base and i do like illuminating primers more than any other type so yeah i don't think it seemed too glittery either so it's definitely one that i'm i'm interested in using trying to finish but I just don't know. I don't think I can finish that this year, if I'm honest. I really don't. I don't know what I've done. But we'll give it a good go. I'm not going to be defeated yet. Um, next thing we've got is from Briogeo. It's Farewell Fizz. Fizz? I think I said that last time. Farewell Frizz. It's never Farewell Fizz. Um, blow Dry Perfection and Heat Protectant Cream. I've only used this a couple of times. I did have a few other hair products as well in... Um, other projects which I'm trying to get through and again this is that thing about maybe not thinking things through thoroughly so we'll give things a good go I'll see what I think I can probably finish and I might hit a refresh on some products but um this is really really lovely the price of this is 23 pounds and that is for 118 mils which is four fluid ounces and um, I started off at that silver line there and I don't know if you can see there's a white line here very badly my white posca pen's done that um literally only just a little bit down so i haven't used a great deal but it was lovely it smells really nice quite like um sweets you know like um 
yeah like confectionery it just smells lovely so definitely much more effort is required on that one now the next thing is from symbiosis um london and it is an aha3 well sorry glycolic acid and rna eye serum you can use this morning and night now i have been finishing off an eye cream and i have got a retinol eye cream at night time so i want to finish my retinol eye cream for sure and then i'm definitely going to move on to this and i'll probably just use this morning and night and get it finished um it's 102 pounds which i think is actually outrageous um, I haven't really used it once or twice. I'll pop any weights up here if there's a difference so you can see what the starting weight was and where we're at now. But it is like a gel, which I quite like that sort of formula. So I'll give that a go and we will see. Um, I'm going to sneeze. My next thing, this has made me so happy. Um, I feel like finally I have got a product that I've achieved something on and I've nearly finished it. This was pretty much full and it is the by terry it's the by terry rose lip balm is 32 pounds 50 pence and look at this so it was up here when i started it is literally i mean this isn't there it's not there at all it's probably more like it's virtually honestly it's virtually finished can you see i am so happy i actually hate the smell of this so much and um, but i put it on every single morning when i come through to do my makeup and my skincare the first thing i do is i put this on and then i do all my skincare and then um when i go to put my lipstick on and everything then that's it done so yeah i actually don't like it the smell is so off-putting i would never repurchase it but um i don't know if i'll take the stopper out but look it is virtually finished i cannot believe that has gone so quick i am I'm ecstatic. Um, I'll just tell you the price here, £32.50. Um, that will definitely be done next time. I'm so happy, so happy. Now, I've got one thing. I forgot to get it. It's a lipstick. It's in my bag because I've been trying to use it. So bear with me. I'll just go get it. I'll be back in a second. So this is the Clarins Rouge Eclat Chestnut Brown Lipstick. Um, I guesstimated it as about £20. I couldn't see it online. But other Rouge Eclat ones from Clarins were about £20. And... When you look at that there, it looks like it's going to be really, really red. Um, and if I'm honest, I only started using this last week when I went out. And I put it on. I was really pleasantly surprised. I wore it to the christening yesterday. Well, I wore it on, went out Friday night. I wore it Friday night. Wore it to the christening yesterday with the baptism. And actually, my sister-in-law mentioned this. She went, oh, your lipstick's really lovely. What is it? Um, it's not one that I'd have normally worn. And actually, when you put it on, it's quite like a shimmer it's like a shimmer finish a bit like your old um your old rimmel one was it like your heather shimmer that kind of thing but it's so nice i'm not sure how much it's gone down i did um do it on a piece of paper i can't remember what the paper is i need to go find it i will weigh it but this is it here so it's not gone down a lot but i have used it a few times and um, i'm going to just do a little swatch because it's not as dark as what it looks and it's it is such a lovely nude you can see it's got some sparkles and it's got a bit of shimmer um and it's just really really lovely on it is so nice it stays really well and i'm so surprised so so surprised um now that's my eight products there as i say you are, are allowed 10 products so i've decided i'm going to roll in a couple of products because i'm nearly finished the lip balm and i thought Let's just get a couple of different things in. So the first thing I'm bringing in are two. I'm going to, going to count it as one. And these are the Keratin Hair Growth Formula. Um, they're like supplements. And it's natural extracts, folic acid, biotin, 60 capsules. I think you're meant to take two capsules a day. Yeah, take two capsules a day with food. Um, do not take this supplement within one hour of taking other medications. Okay. Do not exceed the recommended dose. So I think it's meant to make your hair better and grow more. So I have got, if I take them properly, I've got two months worth of things here. And each tub of these is, I think it was £35. They were gifted to me actually, but they expire in November this year. So I'd like to get them used up and tr at least try them and see what I think. So I'm gonna read a little bit more about it, about why you can't take it near other medicines. Make sure it hasn't got anything like, it's not like um, an enzyme inducing formula or anything like that, which can sort of um, break down your other medications and stop them from working. So I'll just double check with that and make sure there's nothing there 
and then yeah we'll give it a go and see see if it helps my hair um but yeah that's like all together that's 70 pounds worth of supplements which is mad so i'm going to roll those in because again this is something i'm not using in anywhere else in my life so it's something i can definitely have a go at and try and get them out of my collection and then the next thing i saw was just this i just saw when i was like looking through for an eyeliner the other day and it is an eve saint laurent eyeliner and it is a waterproof liner in shade was it 13 destined du regard eye pencil it's a waterproof pencil and i think it's like a blue and um, she says it needs sharpened um so it's like a really almost like metallic -y navy blue um which is quite nice so it's just a different sort of color definitely one that i'll probably use so i'll need to sharpen it so what i'll do i'll sharpen it first and then we'll measure it i might, I might measure it from here <laughs> um and I'll weigh it as well and I'll pop all that on. So I'm rolling that into, I'm imagining just because it's Yves Saint Laurent, that has got to be one of my pricier eyeliners. I actually don't know how much it is. I've just grabbed it, but I'll pop the price up on here and then I'll be adding it to my Instagram, which I'm going to try and keep that on. I've been very, very organised on there with like, you know, fairly um, up to date updates <laughs> so yeah that is everything for this month um on my hashtag that's expensive project pan and um, thank you for watching i hope um you've enjoyed my update <laughs> and if you are doing this do let me know i'll come over and have a little look i can but i can just look on the master sheet and i can just see it but if you're not doing it from um fantastic ladies if you're just doing it on your own steam because you've been inspired by watching somebody's video or if you're doing it over on instagram let me know and i'll come over and pay you a visit so thank you as always for watching take care stay safe and i'll see you in my next video Mwah! bye for now